Must be a book that you didn't remember the question, Dan. <laughs> Today I'm here with the memes book tag. It was created by Dylan from Dylan the Reader 5 and books are my social life and I will leave them both down below if you want to check out their channels. They're both great. I love them. I was actually tagged by Dylan and I believe two other people that I can't remember their usernames so I'm sorry but thank you for tagging me. Um, without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> The first meme is the crying Kim Kardashian meme and it is supposed to be a book that made you cry. I personally don't ever really cry at books. I'm pretty much a hard ass bitch and don't have a soul so sorry not sorry but I chose something with a topic that kind of is very personal to me. So I chose The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. So if you've read this book you know that it features a character that has special needs. She's developmentally delayed, very slow. I don't know if you guys know this, but I personally work with a lot of individuals who have special needs, so just the topic is very dear to my heart, and I just get very upset when they're not treated the way that they should be. Although the book didn't make me cry, it's definitely a topic that I think needs more awareness, and just, we're all equal, okay guys? Like, doesn't matter if you got a disability or not, we're all equal. That's all I'm gonna say on the topic, but there you go. The next meme is Salt Bay, and it is a book that you thought needed a little bit more, and I'm going with The Innocent Wife by Amy Lloyd. Although I did really like this book, I think that it could have been executed a lot better than it was. It was really fun to read at the time, but it's not anything that's gonna stand in my mind for a million years to come. I thought that it had really cool concepts, but it just could have been done a little bit better. The next meme is The Guy Thinking, and it is supposed to be a book that made you think, and I'm I'm going with Speak by Lori Hulse Anderson. I know a lot of people don't really like this book, but I personally think that it's such a great story to raise awareness on very serious topics, and I think that everybody should read it. And while I was reading it, it just really made me think about how if you see somebody who's struggling, you should really reach out to them and try to talk to them about what's going on instead of just ignoring them or picking on them, yada yada. I just think that everybody should be kind to each other, okay? Why can't we all just be kind to each other? I feel like this is turning into like a preacher video, like I'm just telling people that everybody's equal and that we should all be nice to each other, like I'm sorry, but like... I'm just saying. The next meme is The Confused Guy and it's supposed to be a book that you don't understand the hype for and I'm going with Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. I love Gillian Flynn. She's one of my favorite authors but I do not like this book. I don't understand the hype for it. I never even finished it. I think I got like 70 pages in and was like nah like I can't do it. I'm hoping that I'll pick it up again one day and actually read it but I saw the movie and even the movie I wasn't like overly freaking out about it like a lot of people were. The next meme is Evil Patrick, who I personally love so much, and it is supposed to be a guilty pleasure read. So I'm going with The Selection by Kira Cass. These books flew by for me. I read them each in one night. I just found them so entertaining, and I know a lot of people hate them because of America, and I totally agree. She's very annoying, but I love these books, just like The Bachelorette trash. That's what I am. The next meme is Meryl Streep, and it is a book that you are always hyping up, and you guys should know what book I'm about to hold up. It's Vinyl by Sophia Elaine Hansen, and yes, the book Siren, the third book in the trilogy, is coming out on May 1st, so <laughs> y'all should definitely go check it out because this trilogy is my life, my baby, my soul. I love it. The next meme is Successful Baby and it is supposed to be a book that you felt accomplished after reading and mine is Harry Potter by JK Rowling because I was 21 when I first read Harry Potter and I love it so much. I'm now Harry Potter trash. If you guys want to check out the vlog where I read Harry Potter for the first time then it'll be up there and also down below because I believe there's four of them now so exciting. The next meme is Pennywise and it is supposed to be a book that you had high expectations for but it actually let you down and I'm going with The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. This book is loved by like pretty much everybody but I really did not like it. I found it so boring. I guess I'm just like not deep enough for it but I was just like nah I ain't about it. This is boring. Goodbye. So I sent it to the thrift store. The next meme is Headphones Guy and it is supposed to be a book that you listened to on audiobook and really enjoyed and I'm going with The Diviners by Libra Bray. This is like 
such a good audiobook. Like, I highly recommend listening it to it on audiobook rather than reading it. I just think that the experience of the audiobook was really well done. It was very creepy the way that the music played and the atmosphere of the whole book was portrayed. I just think it was really well done. So, highly recommend the audiobook format of this. The next one is The Distracted Guy and it is supposed to be two books. One that you've had on your TBR for a very long time and the second one is one that's distracting you from actually completing the other one. So I'm going with Dream Thieves by Maggie Steve Otter. I've had this on my TBR ever since I've read the Raven Boys, which was like last year, and my brother got me this last Christmas and um, still have not read it. And then the book that's piquing my interest is Children of Blood and Bone by, I can't say this author's name ever, Tommy Adiemi. I was literally saying that morning that I wanted to read this book and then I want a giveaway, so I like freaked out when that happened, but I'm in the middle of exams right now, so reading is not exactly going as planned, but hopefully once exams are over I can get to this because I'm very excited about it. The next meme is the Catch Me Outside Chick and it's supposed to be a book that tried to be something that it wasn't and I'm going with Zenith by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. I just feel like this book was very overhyped. I did give it a 3.5 because I did really like it when I read it, except I just felt that it could be a lot shorter than it was. I just don't understand why it was 500 pages. Could have told the exact same story in like 300 pages and it still would have been equally as entertaining. So like why? The next meme is the dog in the fire and it's supposed to be how many unread books you have and I don't want to talk about it, okay? We're just gonna skip this question. And the final meme is one where you get to pick your own meme so I'm picking the Mr. Krabs like shaky one and it's supposed to be a book that left you shooketh and I'm going with K.A. Tucker's Keep Her Safe because oh my god this book had me like freaking out the entire time. I had no idea what was going on but like I needed to know what's going on and the whole time I was just like what is happening and then the ending I was just like oh my god like if you haven't read this book highly recommend reading this book because I did not see it coming at all. It hit me out of nowhere and it was wonderful. Alright guys, so that was the meme book tag. I tag literally every single person watching this video, so congratulations, you have now been tagged in the meme book tag and you should all do it. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!